Okay, I just want to take a look at a glitch in uh, of Vexcode EXP. Uh, so basically, this is a case where you'll notice here that I have two threads, right? When started and when started, which is a great thing to have. Uh, so basically, what we have is we have two definitions in Python, right? Two functions in Python. And basically, what they're using is they're using threading, which means you can run two things simultaneously on the controller uh, on the brain, which is great. Okay, so they'll have the, both, both functions will start uh, when the program is run. Uh, so basically what we have here is we have one uh, motor uh, that has been added and what we're doing here is when the heading is less than 180 or the heading is greater than 360, uh, we make this 350, basically that's just to catch, hey, like, you know, if the heading is like a little bit less than zero, sometimes it goes to 360, just it blinks on 360 or 359. We don't want our loop to stop, right? Okay, so then we have down here our second, uh, you know, our thread, our second thread is we set the brain inertial rotation to zero degrees, and then all we're doing is printing out the heading in degrees, uh, um, and then we're heading, we're setting the variable heading uh, to the brain inertial rotation in degrees. That that's basically it. Okay, and by setting this variable, we can use that variable then in our other function. Okay, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's take a look at this. So what we should see here, uh, so we're going to go ahead and download this to the brain. Okay, and then we're going to run it. And we're going to go ahead and take a look. Notice that what we get here is this turning and zero degrees. So basically it says, hey, hey, it's in this loop. Uh, and right now it's, uh, the heading is at zero degrees. If we go ahead and turn this robot, uh, you can see that it's now counting up. It's correctly getting the heading from the inertial sensor. Finally, when we get to 180, all of a sudden it clicks off and it's no longer turning, right? So that's the expected behavior. All right, now we, we define this as a single motor. So I'm suspecting that under the hood, like in the, in the VEX EXP libraries, basically they're, uh, they're just not expecting people to use the inertial sensor at the same time as the motors, but of course you will be. So, so let's. Uh, so it's important to be aware of this glitch. Um, it's a pretty, pretty glaring glitch. It seems like so. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead, and all we're going to do is on our um, in our one loop, we're just going to put, hey, uh, we just want our motor to turn, right? So basically, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to turn the robot uh, a set number, you know, every time this loop goes, we want to spin motor six forward 90 degrees. And in this way, we're just going to increment through a turn. You know, we're trying to turn the robot. Uh, um, uh, so let's say that we, um, so in theory, uh, what should happen is something, something should happen that looks like this. So let's just go ahead and disconnect this uh, code here. And we'll just put a uh, uh, control over and we'll put, uh, just repeat. Uh, and basically what should happen is something like this. So let's just go ahead and disconnect this code and we'll just do a forever loop where the motor sh should spin 90 degrees, right? So let's go ahead and download that. <clears throat> okay, so here's a case where we should be just spinning the motor 90 degrees uh, each time it loops. Okay, that's about what it should look like. And basically it should do that until the robot turns 180 degrees and then it should stop. Okay, so let's take a look at what actually happens here. So, so basically we have this one started uh, in two spots and it doesn't really matter if it's threaded. The threading was just a way for me to, to kind of test it out. So in this case, basically all this should happen is it should just be running, uh, you know, it should be turning until this is less than or uh, less than until it hits 180 or if it's above 350. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and reset it here. And we'll download and run. And this just goes back to our our uh, our adage that uh, that you know the console is just really important um, uh, until you can see the values in the console and you know what's coming back from the robot. Don't expect don't don't assume it's going to work the way that you think it did. There there are all kinds of glitches and 
and just unexpected ways that things have been implemented. So, okay, so let's go ahead and run this and just take a look at the glitch as it happens. So notice that now uh, the inertial sensor is now, so that's the print turning. So it's continuing to turn. It's printing the inertial sensor value out that just stays at zero the entire time and doesn't change. So basically it's just getting reset to zero each time this motor, is, uh, this spin command is sent to the motor. Okay, uh, so that is basically it. Let's just take an uh, even more simple approach here. So basically, uh, basically, if we just take these headings out and we just say inertial in degrees, um, so we basically have this inertial in degrees. Oops. Okay, so we want our inertial in degrees is greater than 350 or it's less than 180. We'll go ahead and duplicate it. So this is the simplest possible recreation of it here. So, okay, so then we're just going to print the inertial in the console and print turning, right? Okay, and when we take it out, uh, Oops, let me take out everything else. So here it is without the, uh, so here is it basically just sensing the, uh, in a loop, it's sensing the, uh, it's sensing the, um, the value. So here we have zero turning and we see it go to 180 and then we see it stop right so it basically exited that loop okay and then we just add back in the motor so we're going to spin the motor forward for 90 degrees and then we'll see that it does not work okay so this is the glitch with uh this is the uh, glitch in vx of uh, xcode exp so basically this is you if you have a single loop um and it you know it seems to it seems to even affect uh uh, both threads if you're trying to work in two threads. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this again and let's take another look at it. So here we have it turning again and notice that as soon as we are spinning that motor command basically the inertial sensor is no longer uh, going anywhere but on zero and uh, we have our glitch. So uh, best of luck.